All right, let's bring back meteorologist Kristen Emery because we want to talk about this week. I know we need rain, Kristen, but I love seeing all the sunshines up there for each day. I know that's unbelievable. Bob Pumpy and he said to me last night, I don't remember that when we've had weather like this for weeks on end that we've had sun, sun, sun. The bad news is we are in abnormally dry conditions again on the drought monitor for southwestern Pennsylvania. We picked up about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of rain in different communities last night, officially a quarter inch at Pittsburgh International. So that helped a little. But look, we're back to sunshine already today. So a nice start to your Monday. Temperatures take a little step back today behind that cold front that slipped through here last night, touched off those showers and thunderstorms briefly coming through. Look at this wind west northwest at five miles per hour. Just very light, cool breeze. We're at 53 with partly sunny skies. Here's your temperature map 53 in Washington, Pittsburgh, 55 already in Waynesburg. Wheeling Beaver Falls have inched up there into the upper 50. Little cooler over toward the Laurel Highland Somerset, still at 50 degrees right now. So beautiful week. This is the this week and next week are the weeks to get out and take in the fall foliage. But this week might be the best weather wise, and most of our region is nearing peak color. Really, all of western Pennsylvania nearing peak color. And from Indiana County on up to the northeast and in through the north central portion of the state, State College, Altoona area, over toward Bedford, just at peak color, just barely there. But this week may be the best leaf viewing weather because we'll have temperatures several days in the 70s with nice sunshine. So you can't ask for better foliage and viewing weather than that. And the colors are expected to be pretty vivid this year. You see the clouds moving out to the east, high pressure taking control of our weather and back behind that. There's nothing, just nice, quiet, dry weather. We're watching two tropical storms down in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. One of them expected to approach the Gulf Coast later this week. Right now, not looking at any impact on our weather. And we're looking at really a quiet weather pattern the next seven days. As we head through this afternoon, upper 50s to lower 60s, partly to mostly sunny, and then tonight clear skies. Tomorrow, look at this. We make a run in the upper 60s, close to 70 across much of the area. Wednesday morning, lows only in the mid to upper 50s. And by Wednesday afternoon, golf weather, lawn mowing, time to grill dinner, maybe one or two last times, get out and look at the leaves. Going to be really nice weather as we head through the second half of the week with temperatures getting up way above normal, our normal high this time of year, down into just above the uh, mid 60 degree range. And we're looking at 60 for the high today. So just a little step back, but a beautiful afternoon out there. Gradual clearing. Tonight, temperatures a little cool. We're looking at lows right there in the lower to mid 40s. Tomorrow night, we're looking at uh, temperatures that will take a little jump up in the rest of the week. It's kind of up and down for those lows, but look at these highs. 68 tomorrow. We're up to 72 Wednesday, a little step back behind a weak cold front. Thursday, Friday with sunshine mid to upper 60s. And then here is a really beautiful looking October weekend, mostly sunny skies. Temperatures this weekend, David, into the lower 70s. I like your idea, grilling out. Makes yeah. sense when you got temperatures like that. Thank you, Kristen.